All right, this is going to be a short tutorial for getting into the hip flexors and some of the other muscles around the hips um, using variations of almost like a half pigeon stretch. So the way to set this up is basically just to start with all fours. And what I'm talking about with the half pigeon stretch is I'm going to bring my one leg forward. So I'm going to bring my right leg forward and bring my right ankle past my left thigh right here. And there's a few ways to do this. So on the yoga mat, I'm letting this shin cross the short edge of the mat. It doesn't have to be parallel, but you're pushing the front leg into the back leg so you can engage some tension, some tension in the outer hip. Now, I usually do this with my toes tucked like this. Everything's curled and the foot stays tense. You can kick your foot into the floor. Just keep some tension in that foot and press it down and keep the leg, the front leg pressing to the back leg. Now, initially from here, I'm just going to work this from all fours. And be sure you don't feel any twinge in the knee. Keep in mind, you're trying to get this all to go in the hip and into the glutes on the side of the bent leg. Now, from here, I'm just going to keep this as all fours with my shoulders over my wrists. And then just going back and forth to feel the stretch. I'm going to take it back and forth in cat and cow. And just breathing into this and letting my pelvis shift forward and back. And by doing this, you're definitely going to feel this work into the hip here to start. And this is a good, e good way to ease in to the deeper stretch if your hips are relatively tight. And now you can always take this deeper. You can walk this forward and take this more or less like a puppy dog stretch. And I'll just stay in my fingertips, keeping my hips high, stacked over, well, basically more or less over the two knees. And then just sink down low into this. And you can also take this up and down and work it however you like. And then keeping this cross of the legs, I'm going to come up and use this as a camel variation here. Now in yoga, camels basically when you take a back bend with both knees down. And rather than simply kneeling with my legs side to side, I'm going to keep the legs crossed, hands to the hips, and I'm still pushing this right leg into my left leg. So engage the glutes, press your hips forward. And just feel this out again. You don't want to feel any twinge on the knee of that cross leg. And then if you're able to take this further, keep the hips pressing forward, let your head fall back a little bit. And usually I start with my hands over my chest. Now my left foot's kicking down to the floor. I've still got the glutes engaged and I'm engaging on the right side as well. If you want to take this even deeper, you can just reach back and take a further bend. Hips still pressing forward. And you can always play around with this. You can bring one hand to the heel. So this is my left hand going toward my left heel or even twist. And now I'm bringing my right hand toward the left heel, still pressing the hips forward. And this does take things a little bit deeper. And now come back in. Ooh. Relatively intense. And I'll bring my hands down. I'm going to keep my legs crossed like this. And I'll slide this back so I can actually start to fold down completely over the cross legs. And I do recommend taking this slow. And you can keep the hips up high. You can start to bring the hips further forward. So now I'm on the outside edge of the right foot. I'm still going to curl the toes to keep that foot engaged and just sink down. And you don't have to take this all the way, keep in mind. Just take it to where you can. And now I'm going to go back and forth, engaging the glutes and pressing that hip down to the floor on the cross leg side. And then in and out of that tension. You can always settle and hold as much tension as you like. And when you engage your glutes, not only are you pressing your hips toward the floor, it emphasizes the external rotation of the hip on that cross leg side. And then slowly woo, to come back out of this. I'm going to uncross the legs. And a lot of the stretch went into the outer hip, but also into the hip flexor here. And just to sort of feel it out, you can see how deep you can take things here in one of the deeper lunge, bringing the hips straight down toward the floor. And you can start to create a lot of space in that hip after you've gone through that stretch a few different directions and a few different configurations. Um, and that can help you relieve a lot of any sort of residual stiffness you take when you try to come in further toward back bends or even just to strengthen the hip flexors. So uh, yeah, hope that helps.